a history of light on Earth. The Sun The most obvious source of light on Earth is the Sun, that giant ball of hot plasma in the sky. Scientists estimate that the Earth, the Sun, and the rest of our solar system was formed around 4.5 billion years ago. The Sun has been bathing the Earth with its rays ever since, becoming our planet's most important source of energy. It also causes weather patterns and allows plants to create oxygen. The Sun provides light during the daytime, so finally when humanity came around, all they had to do was figure out something to do during those hours when the Sun mysteriously disappeared. Fire the earliest form of light conceived by people, no one knows exactly when the power of fire was first harnessed by humans. Early cave dwellers used campfires to cook their food, keep warm, and see at night. As a form of light, campfires are great, but they're also very wild and take up a lot of space. As time went on, humans would concoct more efficient ways to control light. Obviously, people go camping all the time, and campfires, one of the most primitive forms of light, is still used today. Candles Candles ruled the night as the most common way to keep a room visible in darkness for thousands of years. They are one of humanity's earliest inventions and have been used for at least 5,000 years. Some of the earliest known candle creations come from the ancient Egyptians. Their first version was a torch made by soaking pithy core in melted animal fat. Eventually, they formed candles out of beeswax starting in around 3000 BC. One of the oldest candle holders ever discovered was made out of clay and came out of Egypt from around 400 BC. The Chinese created candles using whale fat as far back as 221 BC. Candles from India were made by boiling fruit from cinnamon trees, a process that rendered wax which was used in temples. All of these were crude versions of what we know today. The Roman Empire was the first to use a modern version of the candle. They were made from tallow or animal fat, which became the standard material to make candles in Europe. They were even used to light streets by the early 15th century. The Incandescent Light Bulb While Thomas Edison is credited with inventing the incandescent light bulb, this is not true. He can be given credit for creating the first commercially practical incandescent light bulb, but some historians estimate that there were at least 20 inventors of incandescent lamps before Edison's version came along. Humphrey Davy is given credit for inventing the first electric light in 1802. Known as the electric arc lamp, the invention used a battery and wires to cause a piece of carbon to glow, producing a bright light for a short amount of time. Henry Woodward and Matthew Evans received a Canadian patent for a light bulb in 1874. They tried to commercialize their lamp, but failed, and ultimately sold their patent to Edison in 1879. Edison and his team discovered a way to make a light bulb that could last over 12 hours, far longer than any other version of its time, and started marketing the product in 1880. Flashlight The world lit up at the turn of the 20th century with the advent of practical and efficient light bulbs. At around the same time, this immobile form of light was giving Earth a new glow. British inventor David Meisel received the first patent for a flashlight in New York. The device used 3D batteries that were placed in a tube that doubled as the object's handle. The name flashlight derives from the fact that these early versions did not last too long and had to be turned off so they could rest. He would eventually sell the patent, along with his workshop, to Russian immigrant Conrad Huber and the Ever Ready Company, who sold their first flashlights commercially in 1898. More efficient flashlights were made, and by the early 1920s, they were being used by at least 10 million people. Today, flashlights come in a wide range of styles and varieties, including as an app on most smartphones. Neon This element was discovered by William Ramsey in M.W. Taves in 1898 in London, England. It's a rare gas that is present in the Earth's atmosphere and is the 10th element with the abbreviation NE on the periodic table of elements. French chemist and inventor Georges Claude was the first person to send an electrical discharge through a sealed tube of neon gas in 1902. Eight years later, the engineer showcased the world's first neon lamp to the public in Paris and received a patent for his neon lighting tube on January 19, 1915. His French company, Claude Neon, would introduce neon gas signs to the United States in the early 1920s. They sold two signs that read Packard to a Packard car dealership in Los Angeles, California for $24,000. Fluorescent lights 
French physicist Alexandre Becquerel investigated fluorescence and phosphorescence in the mid-1800s and came up with the process that would eventually be further developed into fluorescent lamps. Peter Hewitt came up with the low-pressure mercury lamp in 1901 that serves as the first prototype of the modern-day fluorescent light. Edmund Germer, Frederick Meyer, and Hans Spanner all applied for a patent for a fluorescent lamp in 1926. Germer came up with a high-pressure lamp that could handle a lot of power in 1934, and eventually, the trio would sell their patent to GE. The company would start selling a practical and viable fluorescent lamp in 1938. Light-emitting diode 33-year-old GE scientist Nick Holignac Jr. created the first practical, visible light-emitting diode in 1968. The funny thing is, he wasn't even trying to create a new form of light, he was trying to make a laser. During the time, research labs were racing to invent the first semiconductor laser. Holignac decided to make a visible version that glowed red. It was the first time anyone had made a practical lamp of this kind. Within a year, GE was selling LEDs for $260 each. While Holignac expected his incredible light source to replace incandescent light bulbs right away, it took a bit longer than he estimated. People used LEDs and IBM circuit boards in the 60s and digital watches in the 1970s. By 1990, they were being used in traffic lights and car brake lights. Today, LED light bulbs are steadily gaining popularity and slowly replacing incandescent light bulbs in homes around the world. Optical Fibers Flexible transparent fiber, made by drawing silica or plastic to be a diameter just barely thicker than the strand of a human hair. Optical fibers, also known as light guides, allow people to transmit significant amounts of information using the power of light. Guiding light by refraction, the principle behind fiber optics was first demonstrated in the mid-19th century in Paris by Daniel Caledon and Jacques Babinet when they directed light among jets of water for fountain displays. Optical fibers came into heavy use in the 1970s when telephone companies rebuilt their communication infrastructures with fibers. In the mid-1980s, Sprint was founded with the nation's first 100% digital fiber optic network. Lasers Theodore Maiman built the first laser at Hughes Research Laboratories in Culver City, California in 1960. The main difference between a laser and other forms of light is that the beams are emitted coherently, allowing the laser to be focused on a tight spot. They are used in endless applications like barcode scanners and DNA sequencing instruments. Its beam can be made powerful enough to cut and wield materials. Sean Connery's James Bond was infamously threatened with a giant powerful laser beam in Goldfinger, making the movie the first film in history to use a laser beam. Spacecraft fly around the galaxy shooting laser beams at each other in Star Wars. I mean really, the Death Star was nothing more than a planet destroying super laser. While this form of light has a futuristic connotation, tamer versions of the lasers are found in almost every modern household in the world, in DVD players and printers.